Hello and welcome to Business Update Segments, where we bring you nothing but the best in the world of business. I am Clement Siabankwe, your host. On today's segment, we are going to look at the self finance initiative of Ghana Cocoa Board. As they said, no syndicated loan for 2024-2025 crop season. And we are going to look at how it's going to be um, its impact on the economy. And is it really feasible? Is it really going to um, have a sustained time of the season we find ourselves, especially in this economic hardship? So let's just take a look at something. He says, Ghana Cocoa Board has announced plans to switch to self-financing for the 2024-2025 crop season, beginning in September 2024. For the past 32 years, Cocoa Board has funded cocoa purchases through offshore borrowing via its cocoa syndication program. However, the organization is now changing its strategy to lessen its reliance on external financing. But there are lots of production trends in Ghana. Let's take a look at the production trend from 2012 cocoa crop season and down to that of the 2023-2024 crop season. So when you take a look at this graph, which is in 1,000 metric ton, from 2012-2023 crop season, we recorded a production of 835,000 metric ton. And looking at this, in 2013-2014, we recorded 897,000 metric ton. When you take a critical look at this, we recorded the highest uh, production in 2020-2021 in 2020-2021, which recorded 1,047,000 metric ton. That is the highest so far. The time we recorded such an amount was in 2010. Was in 2010. That was around 1,023,000 metric ton. But now in 2020-2021, recorded 1,047,000. But taking a critical look at the 2020-2021 to 2021-2022, there was a drastic slope. It's, it dropped drastically. Compare this to this amount, which dropped at a margin of almost 346,000 metric ton. And people keep on asking the question that why did this shift happen? Because if we should record this highest at 1 million and now it's 683,000, then there is a lot of concern that people are raising to this very issue. When you look at this from 2021, 2022 to that of 2022, 2023, that is 654. So it also dropped. And currently, as of 2023, 2024 crop season, we recorded 580. We recorded 518. So this is the situation with our cocoa production in Ghana. And a lot of concern has been raised. And people are asking, why is it that we recorded this and gradually it's dropping? There's a lot of factors that contribute to this. We have the issue of weather condition. We have the issue of our pest. And people are saying that because, you know, Cocoa Board brought out an initiative that they are rehabilitating the aged cocoa starting from that was last three we, that is when they started this initiative. An amount of money has been pumped into this uh, very uh, program, believing that in some years to come, we are going to record a higher production in terms of cocoa. But out of all this, people are asking that after we're recording this slope in cocoa production, is it the reason why the international markets or the uh, banks are not giving us access to syndicated loan this time around? as people have raised concern to. But Cocoa Board is saying that, no, this is not the reason. Because they are saying that, as at 2023, they had profits in cocoa production. So that alone gives them an upper hand that they should get this loan. But let's take a look also at the profitability of Cocoa Board um, in terms of 2020 production, its profitability to that as current as we have. Then we go, so as at 2017, Cocoa Board recorded a loss of 395 million 
Ghana cities, 395 million Ghana cities. As at 2018, a loss of 78.2 million Ghana cities. As at 2019, 426 million Ghana cities. As at 2020, 320.6 million Ghana cities. The same applies to 2021 and 2022, 3.2 billion Ghana cities. But as of 2023, according to the Auditor General's report, they recorded a profit of 2.3 billion Ghana cities. 2.3 billion Ghana cities. So the question is, if we recorded a profit at 2.3 billion Ghana cities, why not the syndicated loan? Why not a syndicated loan? Because concern has been raised that Cocoa Board is not credit worthy. It has a lot of loan outside there, so the outside banks are rejecting Cocoa Board. But Cocoa Board also came out with a statement that was um, over on Friday that no, they are not having issues with any of the international markets, but it is a self-initiative they are taking that. They believe that this self-financing is going to bring a lot of good things to the people of Ghana. So because of this, let's let's just go back. Producer, take me back to the production trend. Take me back to the production trend and let's let's look at something there. Back to the production trend. Yeah, so as we're speaking to the production trend of um, cocoa production. When you check that of 2021-2021 cocoa crop season, as it does, it was a downward stroke of 34.8%. 34.8%. And that was serious. When you compare this to this, it, the margin is 47.7%. So from 2020, 2021 crop season to 2023-2024 crop season, we have recorded a downtrend of 46.7%. And in terms of metric ton, we have lost 467,000 metric ton. 467,000 metric ton. So these are concerns that people are raising that might be the reason why Cocoa Board is now looking at the aspect of self-financing. But people are also saying that if Cocoa Board is looking at the Olam and other um, stakeholders involved, what if these people end up failing? Cocoa Board or not giving them the money they need for this very uh, cocoa production, which is yet to start in September. So let's take a look at the impact of the self-financing initiative, if really Cocoa Board is going to implement this. Yes, it's, it's a good news if Cocoa Board happens to implement self-financing. One, because Cocoa Board is going to save the interest that they are supposed to pay on the loan. They are going to save the interest that they are supposed to pay on the loan. So in terms of its profitability, it's very good in the aspect of Cocoa Board. But the question is, what about its sustainability in the long term? How is it going to be sustained? I believe viewers, you are thinking about how Cocoa Board is going to sustain itself. And I know you yourself, you are wondering how this is going to take place. But aside everything, aside everything, in the long term, it's going to help Ghana. Because we are going to see that, yes, we are up and doing. We can uh, be able to finance our own activity without we going to the international market moving forward. And people out there will see that, yes, Ghana is up and doing. So this and many more are the reasons that we think and we know that is going to help Cocoa Board if they should go into the self-financing initiative. But in summary, if Cocoa Board moves to self-financing as projected, it's going to generate significant savings and reduce financial risk. However, effective cash flow management will be crucial to sustain this new approach and leverage the savings of long-term benefits. So if they are able to leverage the, um, imp the, the savings of the long-term benefit, then we are going to have a lot of good news in the country. In the aspect of financial impact, it's going to have interest costs going to be reduced. As I said earlier, we are not going to pay any interest on the loan since we are generating it internally. And also in terms of operational implication, it's going to have a positive impact on our operations as Cocoa Board is going to do. In terms of risk management, it's going to reduce exposure. That is, reduce its exposure to fluctuations in global interest rates and currency. You know, that day in and day out, the exchange rate is going high. As at this morning, Forex Bureau are selling dollars for 16 Ghana cities. So if we should go out there 
if we should go out there for um, a loan, just imagine the fluctuation in this currency rate is also going to affect. So this one aspect of the risk management in terms of financial stability is going to reduce interest and debt. Yes, we are not going to record any issues of debt in terms of Cocoa Board because according to the Auditor General's report, Cocoa Board is supposed to pay Bank of Ghana an amount of 8.241 billion Ghana cities. 8.241 billion Ghana cities. So if Cocoa Board is generating fund internally, it's a good news. And in long term, as I said earlier, it's having a, um, investment on Cocoa Board because Cocoa Board will be saving this interest that they are supposed to pay to this very international uh, banks that we have. They are going to save it, and that is a good news. This is all we have for you on business update segment. I believe and I know you've come to understand the impact of the self-financing on the economy if Cocoa Board is to implement this initiative. It's good, but how sustainable is going to be? Let's get your comments. Let's get interactive on our Facebook handles, our YouTube. Share your thoughts and let's know how this initiative is going to impact or its impact on the economy. Thank you so much for following today's business update segment. This is all we have for you. Thanks to everybody for watching. I am Clement Yaban Kwe, but I want to use this opportunity to wish my spiritual father, Apostle Rudy Dab, a happy, glorious birthday. God bless you so much, Papa, wherever you are in Kumasi. God will bless you and continue to shower more grace upon your life. Thank you so much for staying with us. Up next is the main discussion with Yaira Abuno and her guests. Stay tuned. Thank <laughs> you.